I'm afraid there's no magic formula. You can't just wave a magic wand. Welcome to Ashley Talk Supercut. Today we talk about public speaking. This is something all entrepreneurs need to start doing if you're not doing this already. And this is something so many people are terrified. So we're going to talk to amazing speakers today and we're going to figure out how to be a great public speaker and what it takes and how does that propel your career. So let's go get them. Why do I believe that public speaking is important for everyone? Number one reason is that it's great for your brand and your thought leadership. You start putting yourself out there and more people know you. You can deliver your message. You can actually not only deliver it, but the second reason is you can clarify it and you can learn a lot more. At the same time, I love public speaking because it allows you this opportunity to connect with people, especially if you speak with empathy. If you deliver that knowledge, the connection and bond is so strong. And the last reason, which is super cool, is that you can actually work through your fears and limiting beliefs and your thoughts and your emotions when you get on stage and you have that you know this freezing fear you work on it you overcome it and you become better yourself so public speaking is for everyone learning how to do that and communicate professionally is so 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 crucial right now and in the years to come really is about practice. Mm. Um, for me, um, I've spent a number of years being a member of a Toastmasters club, for example, here in Hong Kong. Um, I've also, uh, I'm also a big believer about the preparation. If you, yeah. uh, you know, you can never do enough preparation. So again, prepare, prepare, prepare. Um, if you're going to meet people, um, make sure you get some backgrounder about them. Mm. And equally, uh, you need to pay attention. You need to think about perhaps some of the types of questions that you want to ask them, but equally um, that perhaps some of the questions that come the other way. Uh, so be prepared. In this day and age, a lot of the things that people used to do are, are either being automated or replaced or, or streamlined or you know processes are becoming more efficient. And so where the human element really comes in is being able to communicate and being able to illustrate with emotion, uh, with, with, with language, um, and with visualization and storytelling. Um, this is where appreciation will continue to grow. I think it's absolutely essential that people tell their stories and tell their experiences and share that with the audience because that matters far more than something you can read in a textbook and deliver as, a, as an academic at a, at a conference or an event and that's no um, offence to any academics. It's just the reality, if you've actually experienced something um, you're able to speak about it better. of tips on the road to becoming a fantastic public speaker is pay attention to the content. Ask yourself a question, what is that gift I can give to my audience? There's a lot of speakers that get on stage and think what they can get out of it, whether they can get leads or they can get attention or they can get likes. Think what can the audience get and that would be a fantastic, fantastic start. Of course, definitely prepare. Every time I do a talk, I prepare for hours and hours and I make sure that I actually look for new case studies and latest information. It is great for your development. Make sure that you're telling a story and you are telling a personal story. Sprinkle your experience in it. Talk about your clients. Talk about your personal life. Make it really your own. Don't retell other people's 
stories. And another tip that I have is think about the objective. What is your objective? What do you want each and every listener to take away from that hour with you? And you need to tell a story and make sure that you actually reached that objective by the end of it. Before you finish the talk, make sure you repeat the concepts, make sure that your audience reached the objective and got to the goal and then you can be already very proud that at least you have brought in the value. The next step would be delivery. I think for anybody who say they're not afraid or not <laughs> nervous of public speaking would be lying. Okay. I equally I get jittery. I get jittery as well. Perhaps I don't show it, but, but you know, before the public speaking engagement, I do start to break out in a cold sweat. <laughs> I do get worried with people. You know, will people relate? Will they interact? Um, is it going to be funny, humorous? Uh, am I going to be, you know, uh, uh, relevant? Uh, do I have, um, hopefully, um, it's good things to, sh to say and, and I think the other point there is uh, people are looking for your insights they're looking for your knowledge yep. so you've always got to ensure that you've got something good to say that you've researched the subject matter well um, yeah do your homework because if you do your homework if you are well prepared you will feel in my view a lot more confident and comfortable so that's really important. I think speakers that can uh, engage with the audience are obviously essential in this day and age. Um, there are a lot of events on competing. So here are the tips. Number one, before you get on stage, come in your most resourceful state. Make sure that you're pumping with energy. Some people do it by going into the bathroom and putting their hands up and really shaking and moving. Others are jumping, getting their blood running. Whatever you need to do, just arrive on stage in the most resourceful state. Besides that, you need to have the right mindset. Before you get on stage or when you are there, make sure that you have the mindset that you are the doctor, that the patients came to see you and you are helping them. So that's number one tip. Number two, start before you start. So arrive a bit earlier, mingle with the people in the audience, ask them questions. Why are they here? What are they here to learn? understand them and then when you begin your speech you can actually relate to it you can say guys that's what you told me and da 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 we begin the speech number three when you are talking make sure that you are engaging your audience what i like to do at the beginning of each talk i ask them a question how many people right here are already working with china hands up some speakers ask the audience to repeat after them other speakers ask the audience to write something down Another great thing is, you know, you can say something together. If you agree, say yes, they say yes. Or just by the end of your speech, you basically summarize and ask people questions and like quiz them whether they understand it or not. And of course, don't forget to have fun. Being on stage and sharing your knowledge must be fun. Love your topic, love the audience, and you need to want to deliver the value. Right? So that is why you need to have the right mindset. You don't need to be perfect. If you made a mistake, if you said something funny, just name it and move on. The audience doesn't want you to fail. They want you to succeed. So have fun and don't overthink it. Here we are with Frank Mato, my mentor in fitness. This person is pushing me to my absolute limits. I spoke about him on social media already. Make sure that your coach is not only supporting and showing you how to do stuff, but pushes you, makes you a better version of yourself. Apart from being fantastic at fitness, boxing and so many things, he is also a great person obviously and a little wise mentor in business. He tells me things that I literally want to write down and put on my LinkedIn. So today he's here for a reason. We're gonna work out and we're gonna do it the right way. Frank. Let's go, mom. Woo!
Good. Jump and jog, lovely. Relax. One, two, three, lovely. One, come on. about being special and unique. Find a special or unique angle to your topic. Make sure that you focus also on one or two topics maximum. Usually professional speakers focus on one big topic and then they have three or four subcategories below. So that's what you want to do. If you want to be known in your company as the tech guy, is tech too broad? What is that specific topic that you're good at? And then deep dive. So specialize in other words is the key. For me, for example, it's all about China and digital in China, right? So digital in China, what are my subtopics? Number one is modern Chinese consumers. How are they different between first and second tier cities? How do they behave, etc. That's number one. Number two is Chinese social media marketing. Again, there are tons of platforms, so you can break it down to even smaller topics. And the last one is Chinese new retail and new retail technology. So then it's very, very clear. And another tip from professional speakers, especially if you're doing it for the purpose of thought leadership or branding, make sure that there's something on you that is unique. For example, some speakers only wear green when they present, easy to recognize. Other speakers have funny haircut or extraordinary hair color or they have piercing all over their face. Some people have a braid. Look at this. So whenever I walk into the room, whenever I do public speaking, I actually make sure that the braid is down because sometimes I do have my hair up and people instantly recognize me. It is such an easy uh, gesture and I become basically instantly recognizable. So make sure you have something very special and stick to it because it does work. Being special and unique is the way. The last tip for today is just go out and do it. Do a lot of public speaking. The more you do it, the better you get. Start with smaller groups and then grow it bigger and bigger. Last year I spoke at 58 events and this year I already spoke at about 30 events. So do practice. Apart from that, it's a fantastic idea to actually get certified and actually join some associations. Why am I saying that? Right now in Asia, the professional public speaking industry is in its infancy where in the rest of the world, for instance, in the US, it's a much more mature state. So Asia is slowly moving towards that uh, direction and there are more and more professional speakers needed. It doesn't matter why do you want to speak publicly. Is it to encourage your colleagues or do you want to become an industry leader or do you want or have aspirations to speak at much larger scale professionally and be paid for that? Um, if you're moving towards that direction, the bigger scale, which is a huge opportunity, just go and get certified, join associations. I joined the Singapore Professional Speaker Association and though I was skeptical, it's a fantastic collection of people that have growth mindset and are willing to coach you and help you up. And then in terms of certifications, if you are a certified coach, you can actually use it as your second career, side hustle or later on become a full-time uh, public speaker. So. This is so fascinating and so fun and you have no escape. It is needed at work. So public speaking is a skill and it is absolutely crucial for any business person or professional. I hope you learned a lot and as Frank said, you need a coach. So surround yourself with the right people, listen online, find the real human being that's going to coach you and go get them. Cheers! and see you next time at Ashley Talks Supercut.